Hey and welcome back. Today we'll be reviewing a tool called LazyBird. LazyBird is an AI voice generation tool that allows you to turn any text into human-like voices. You can have access to over 200 high quality voices and from over 100 different languages. You can do some really cool things such as adding stock images and music to your script. You can even edit your scripts on a timeline and you can even translate your script to another language. LazyBird is perfect for creating courses, TikTok videos, podcasts, audiobooks, phone systems and even films. LazyBird is currently running on AppSumo for a lifetime deal and you can get the licensed tier one for as low as $49. So there are two tiers and the difference between the tiers is the characters per month. So for tier one, you get a very generous 200,000 credits or characters. And for tier two, you get 1 million, which is quite a lot. And including in all the tiers is high quality AI voiceover, video order, audio and image support, 200 voices plus supporting uploading TXT and DocX scripts and thousands of stock images and videos. And they've got here and any future new stock images and videos, which is good stuff. And of course, it's reassuring to know that there is a 60 day money back guarantee. And if you'd like to buy Lazy Bird, I'll leave a link in the description below. It is affiliated, but it will help me out a lot. And I really appreciate it. Okay, so when you first sign into Lazy Bird, you'll come into the studio. And this is basically the dashboard screen where you will add your script and add a narrator and basically create your video. So the first thing I notice about this particular dashboard is that everything's very easy to get to. So on the left here, you have like a side panel and you can import your script, image and video, audio and translate. You can change the volume for the audio and the narrator. And here you can add your scripts, which we'll come to in a minute. You can change your default language just down here. And currently they have four. So let's get into the main features. So there are two ways you can add a script. You can either import it from a docx or txt format. So all you need to do is drag and drop or click to upload, or you can add a block. So if we click this button here, it will come up with this little text box and you have a few options here. You can click on this little icon of a person and that will bring you to the voice selection. So from here on the left, you can actually choose from over 200 narrators, which is quite a lot. And this is across many different languages as well. So we'll run through some of them and see what they sound like. This is Ava. Hi, my name is Ava. I can speak so many languages. You can't even count. And she sounds very realistic. Let's try out Andrew. And just below that, it says expression. So I think he'll be showing a bit more emotion, but let's check it out. Hi, my name is Andrew. I can speak all kinds of languages in the world. Okay, so Andrew does sound a bit more upbeat. And you can come up here to the search box. And because I'm British, I will search for British voices. And straight away, it comes up with a few here. So let's check them out. Hi, my name is Abby. I am an English voice. That doesn't sound too great, but let's uh, try out celebrity Michael Angelus. Hi, my name is Michael. I am an English actor. Okay, I'm not too impressed with that one, but let's try out Ryan. Hi, my name is Ryan. I am an English voice from the United Kingdom. Okay, not bad. Let's try out uh, American voices. Well, we have tried out a couple. What about Jenny? Hi, my name is Jenny. I am an English voice. Okay, I can hear that that's AI. Hi, my name is Aria. I am an English voice from the United States. Okay, I quite like Aria. And let's check out two more. And the one I really want to show you is Morgan Freeman. Hi, my name is Morda. I'm an English voice from the United States. And that literally sounds just like him. So I'm quite impressed with that. And what about Obama? Hi, my name is Obama. I am an English voice from the United States. Yeah, that's not too bad. And there's quite a lot of celebrities. There's Kanye West. I'm not going to lie. I'm a big fan of the hip hop genre. It's not too bad. What about Mr. Beast? And Mr. Beast. I'm an English voice from the United States. That's actually really impressive. So once you're happy with your narrator, you just click on the one that you want to use. And that will take you to this little panel. 
So from here, you have a few more advanced options. You can choose the speaking tone. So you can actually change some of the emotion here and they only have three, including generals. So you've got empathetic and relieved. I will leave it on general. You can actually change the speed of the voice. So if you find Morgan Freeman too slow, you can speed him up. You can manually come in and add a pause at the cursor position. So you can choose the amount of seconds and it goes up to three. So that's really nice. And there's a couple of more advanced options. So you can change the pitch and you can turn down the volume or turn up the volume. Okay, so I'm just over in ChatGPT and I've asked the AI to create a fairly long script. So it's a few hundred words, maybe a couple of hundred. And if I just copy this whole script and I'll come back to Lazy Bird Studio and what I can do here is I can just paste in the text. Okay, so what it's done is that it's broken up the text into paragraphs. And the first one, it's captured the first paragraph here. And then it's tried to capture the second paragraph. But what's happened is that when it's got down to this sentence, it's cut off. Now, the reason it's done that is because I'm on the free trial. And if you had more credits, it would allow you to paste in more of the script. But be aware, because as you paste in more text, sorry, not credits, but your characters, so each time you add more words or characters, that will come off your plan. So that's something to just be aware of. So you'll see here under my account, the quota has already gone to 295 out of 3000 characters. But let's run Morgan Freeman's voice over this script and see what it sounds like. The sun hung low in the sky, casting an amber glow over the sprawling city. People moved through the streets with a hurried purpose their faces reflecting a mix of fatigue and determination. Okay, that sounds pretty awesome. That's really impressive. Now for each block, we have a few options. And if I click on any of the words or a word, say casting, it will come up with this little panel and it allows you to modify the pronunciation. So if I click modify, so this little pop-up will appear and it will ask you to enter an IPA. And from what I've gathered, you can actually change the pronunciation of that particular word. So if I put in here casting instead of casting and went to apply, now you'll see that casting has a line underneath it, which shows that there's a pronunciation applied to it. And if we go to play, the sun hung low in the sky, sure steamed an amber glow. And did you hear that? It said Corstein. So you could actually change how the word sounds, which is pretty cool. So another nice feature is you can add a pause anywhere in the script. So if I put a pause after city and made it three seconds, when I go to play it now after city, there should be a pause of three seconds. So, oh, sorry, there you go. I had to add it first. So then if we go to play, the sun hung low in the sky, sure steamed an amber glow over the sprawling city. Okay, did you see that after City there was a pause for three seconds? So this is a really nice way of just slowing down the script if it's too fast. Or it might be for a story where you need a few more pauses. And you can add this anywhere in the script. So you may have noticed at the very bottom here, there is a simple timeline and basically your individual blocks or scripts are added down here as you add them in this particular order. But what you can do is you can actually change the order of the blocks. So if you right click here, you can move this one to the left or back to the right and that will move the, the blocks or the scripts around. You can also drag the scripts to whatever you want and you can also duplicate one or you can remove it. It would be nice if you could click on a particular script and just tap delete, but unfortunately you have to right click first and go to remove. So it is a very simple timeline, but it does its job well. Okay, so let's pretend that we have our script and now we want to add in some images or videos. And if I go to this little button here on the left, you will see now you can upload an image or video and accept JPEG, PNG, MP4 and WebM. Or you can add in stock images or even stock videos. And what's really nice is that if I click anywhere on the timeline, such as Amber, and I type in here Amber, 
and it will search for something amber related. So I'm not quite sure if this is amber related, but let's just add this in. And I thought it would add it by the word amber, but it actually doesn't. But all you have to do is drag it over to here. You can even trim the video. So I might want it just over here. And when I go to play, their faces reflecting a mix of fatigue and determination. The scent of fresh bread wafted from a nearby bay you will see that the narrator's voice is still playing over the video. So you can create quite a nice video with this. But you can basically come in here and add images anywhere on the timeline. So I could add in this, drag that over to there. And for some reason, it keeps going back to import scripts. Would it be nice if it went back to image and video? You can add in images. So I might want that and that will be added to the timeline and if it's in the wrong place you can easily drag it and you can trim it and then if we went to play here hang of exhaust from passing cars among the crowd was a it would be nice if it automatically kind of takes away the gap so it's all all the clips are next to each other but from here you have to manually connect them up and it might overlap so they could improve on that and another nice feature to make your video stand out and be a lot more polished and ready to go is that you have the ability to add audio and they have a nice selection of stock music as well. And you get to preview each particular song and they're all instrumental. So if I wanted Oceanside. That's quite nice. And if you wanted to add it to the timeline, you just click the plus sign. And now highlighted in yellow, that's added to the timeline. And of course, like the other clips and scripts, etc., you can trim this. So if I just wanted it here, and then if we go to play, oh, just before we do that, you can turn down the music. So let's click here and play. Low in the sky, sure steamed an amber glow over the sprawling city. People move through the streets with a hurried purpose, their faces reflecting a mix of fatigue and determination. The scent of fresh bread wafted from a nearby bakery, mingling with the... So you can see how easy it is to put a video together. Another nice feature is you have the ability to translate your script into any of these languages here. So if I wanted to translate this American script into, let's say, Germany, we'll just click that and you can even choose the default voice. So let's say I just wanted Danny, I would click there and it would be nice if I could preview his voice here. Instead, I'd have to go back to the import script or click on the image icon here to find out how he sounds. So if they could just add a preview, it'd be really nice. And once you've chosen your default voice, you just go to translate and that will take a few seconds. It will open up a new kind of studio dashboard page, but you'll see how quick that was in translating it all to German. And now if I go to play, and because it's imported all this other music and videos plus the script, it does take a little while to load. Now it has come up with this little pop-up message here saying you have exceeded speech generation limit for your plan. So when you do translate it, it will take into consideration all the characters and words that is translated. But I can quickly show you this. Himmel und Kostin einen Bernsteinfarbenen Schein auf die sich ausbreitende Stadt. Die Menschen bewegten sich eilig durch die Straßen. Ihre Gesichter spiegelten eine Mischung aus Müdigkeit und Entschlossenheit. So you can see how quick it can be to translate your video into another language. And that's a really nice feature that they have. And I forgot to show you this earlier, but when you import a script, you can either split it by paragraphs or by sentences. And also for each separate block, you can choose different voices. So if you wanted one block as Morgan Freeman and then another block as a completely different character, you can achieve that with Lazy Bird. So some of the voices do sound like AI, but a lot of them do sound very realistic as well, even on par with Eleven Labs or a similar type of software. And over time, I'm sure the voices will get better and they will add more. There could be some more expressions or emotions that you can have, but the ones they have now are very good.
Um, what's really good is that you can commercially use your videos across all the different platforms. There are no download limits. There's multiple language support, unlimited audio generation, and a big voice library. Some of the cons are the character limits. They will be used up very quickly, which means you would have to buy more and we'll come across the pricing for that in a minute. There's also limited editing features, but I'm sure over time they will improve on that. Okay, so there's a couple of plans to go over here. There's the free plan, which requires no credit card and you get 3000 characters per month. You don't get unlimited downloads and exports, but you get to use everything else. When you saw earlier, 3000 characters can be used up very quickly. There's also a pay as you go plan where you only pay for what you use. And there's no reoccurring charge for this. So you can add credits at any time and it's $1 per 10,000 characters. And I think this is really nice because sometimes you don't want reoccurring credits. You just want to maybe use them to create a video one time. So this is a really nice option to have if you just want to do this every now and again. And you get all these features included in that. You can also pay $7 a month and you get pay as you go and you get free 200,000 characters, which is the same as AppSumo tier one. So I think the prices for even the monthly or pay as you go or the AppSumo deal are pretty competitive and generous but just take into consideration how quickly the characters can go down. But with the option to buy as you go, that's really nice to have as well. Now, Lazy Bird does have a roadmap and they have a couple that have gone live. So that's add multilingual voices, translate a project to another language. In progress, they have music fade in and fade out, which I was actually going to mention earlier. And that would be quite good for more effective videos. You can import from CSV, download subtitles. So that's all coming and planned. They've got custom voice cloning, which would be really nice. So you could clone voices such as Morgan Freeman, import from a couple of more files and add a second track. So they are improving the editor by the looks of it and they're exploring quite a few more options. Okay, well, that's it for the review of Lazy Bird AI. I hope you enjoyed it and learned some more about the tool. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming reviews. And let me know your thoughts on Lazy Bird AI. Is there a better AI voice generation tool out there? I'll be interested to hear your thoughts. Okay, I'll see you in the next review.